Welcome back to my AutoCAD architectural video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to insert doors into a floor plan. Uh, this is pretty simple. Uh, this can be done one of two ways. Again, we can click here on doors, doors to bring up the properties palette. And from here, we can adjust the size of the door. Uh, for this, I want to change the width to 900, 900. And the door height, I want this to be seven feet, three, nine, uh, three, seven, 21. Let this be 2100. Uh, the measurement, we can determine if the measurement is taken from, <clears throat> sorry, from the inside frame or from the outside frame. In this case, I want this to be from the inside frame. The door swing. We can determine if the door swing open at 90 degrees, as in this case, or if the door is half open at 45 degrees. Now, let's move on here. Here we have some very important setting which we have to be, or should be aware of. The door positioning. Here, we can, if we select offset to center, what this does, this allow us to set, uh, to allow the door to snap on at the center or at a certain, a predetermined distance from the edge or end of each wall for this one. Uh, if, we so, if we select this offset center, we would also need to select the offset distance. The offset distance is the distance the door will be generated automatically from the end of the wall. Uh, typically, 150 is good. If we select this one, unconstrained, what unconstrained does, unconstrained allows the allow, allows to um randomly place the door at at, at um, any convenient point. Any, any convenient location location on the drawing. So those are factors that you need to be mindful of. So for this, I don't want it to be unconstrained. I want it to be at a specific distance. And I want this distance to be 150 millimeters from the finished wall. So once you have done that, the next step is to click where you want your door to be. So say for example, I want a door here. I click here and automatically the door drops in place right there. And you will notice that the door is aligned at a little distance from the wall. That is the 150 millimeters. So again, I'll go, go through and determine, determine where I want my a door to be. Um, I probably want a door, want a door probably here. And uh, we need a door here. In this case, it's probably should be a double door, a door here. And uh, probably another door, uh, I want an opening here. So I don't want a door there, I want an opening. So I will have to do that separately. Um, I could put a door, put a door here for this bedroom, but uh, yeah. I will need to, yeah. I could put a door here as well, escape. But it's important to know that we can flip the door. So we could click here to determine if the door swings on the inside or on the outside. We could also adjust the, the side that the door hinges on. So this, this, this arrow, will determine if the door swings on the left or on the right. So we click that, and that basically changes that. We could also move the door. So you can click the middle mouse, drag, and the door and the wall will adjust automatically. Want that. We could also 
you could also adjust the length of the door. Yes. So if we click on this one, you will notice the existing value. Once we click, that value bec becomes highlighted. And we could change the door from 900 to probably say 1,000. Enter. And then or on the wall, autumn, auto, magically adjust to 1,000. For our bathroom, I could adjust this door as well to 750. So I click there. Uh, click on this and automatically that become that highlight is highlighted. I could enter 750 millimeters, enter, and the store has changed to 750 millimeters. I could change how the store swings, if it swings outside or if it swings inside, if it is hinged on the left or on the right. Yeah. Is pretty much that. Uh, I'm going to adjust this wall and add another door here. And this wall as well. Add another door here. Escape, TR, enter, enter, trim, trim, escape. And I'm going to add an another door here. So I'm going to Click on my door, same properties, click here, enter, click one here as well, escape. And I could adjust the store if I want. Let's see what this dimension for the store is, it's 900. That seems pretty good. I could change this, I could let this door swing on the inside if I want or on the outside. Um, oh, I could also create an, create where I don't want, I want the door to swing on the inside, not there, swing on the inside. I don't want to, to be out in the passage. So flip this. Next, I could add a, an opening in the, in the section right here. So for that, I go to door and click on op opening opening and in this case I will determine how wide I want this opening to be. I could let this opening be um uh, a thousand wide I could make it probably 1200 one two one well I think a thousand is good we make it 200 if we want one two zero zero opening height could let this be um that or a bit higher. I could let it be, I want it to be um, the center, center here. And for this, I want it to be perfectly center. So I need to remove, set this to zero. I don't want it to be um, aligned to any, any side. So I have to set that to be zero. And then I click here and that is placed there. All right. So I could I could I could move this. I could move this. Yeah, I could move this to there. I could also stretch this. I could click here and determine if I stretch this out to some other value. I could increase or reduce this. So this is basically a cutout. So this has no no um door on it. It's basically a cutout that is inserted in the, in the wall. Yes. So that's basically all there is for a door. Yeah, um, to see this in 3D, we we'll click here. Um, then go to, go to concept tool. And that is it, or a door. Back to home, top view, concept tool, 2D wireframe, and back to this. So that's basically all there is for a door. Yep. And of course we could choose double door.